all aware of what this is going to be? No. <laughs> We're not even sure what this is going to be. All right. Uh, okay, Fiasco is a role-playing game uh, that is designed to simulate uh, uh, the kind of movies such as the Color Brothers make. Uh, the tagline is, it's the game of high ambition and low impulse control. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is this is designed for things to go wrong, for the wheels to come off, uh, for the uh, shit to hit the fan. That's that's what this game simulates, and uh, it's played. Have some dice. Oh, and I'm just going to throw that one on the ground. You can't stop me. You're not my real dad. You're the great the granny. Uh, right. Which uh, your foot in the world. You know, I just went down and died. I'm still going to do it. I might need a six sided die one day. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, so. We take a. Two stick. Two each. Pass them. Hello, dear. These will be used for scoring. Too black, too white. Yes. The. The system that we're, the, the, the scenario that we're playing is called Fortune and Glory. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a scenario that encompasses uh, lots of uh, interesting um, elements uh, similar to the action adventure movies of yore uh, and not, not a little bit an Indiana Jones movie. Uh, our, in, in defining our relationships, our uh, Indiana Jones movie kind of took a left turn as it is wont to do. And so, uh, does everybody have a character now? Seven. Yes, sir, working on that right now. All right, good deal. Uh, oh, there's the audience. This just got ugly. Uh, hey, hey, no, hey, no. hey. No, you're beautiful. The fact that now we have to perform like trained seals. And that, <laughs> might, that <laughs> might or might not go well. Or, or, or. Finn, if it goes well, you're not doing it right. All right. Pretty much. <laughs> so uh, the way the game works is we, we, will, we will each play a round of short scenes to sort of establish the game, define what we're after and what we're looking for. And uh, then uh, after uh, we've each had a short series of scenes, we're going to do something called the tilt, which is where we apply all of the horrible, terrible things that go wrong and happen. Uh, then, when those modify the situation, we're going to do one more round of scenes and see just how badly things have gotten and, uh, and whether or not uh, any of us are going to make it out of this situation alive. Um, odds are against. Odds are really against it. Uh, so, it's 904. We've got to get going. Uh, here's what we have established. We're in an alternate universe where uh, the Nazis have uh, started their invasion of North America in 1942 by coming in through Canada. Um, we are uh, all part of a, uh, let's call it a, a North America, an American um, uh, Squadron? Resistance movement? Yes, perhaps tank. perhaps the, the resistance movement. We're a tank. Uh, there, there could be, well, we, could, we don't have tank shows. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. No. But, uh, I, what we have established is that I am the sergeant of this little operation, and um, uh, my name is uh, Crack Hammer. Sergeant Hammer. Uh, all of them call me Crack. And so, uh, <laughs> that means, you son of a no, no, no. Introduce yourself. Yeah, and, uh, do you want to? Do we like? Do we need to talk about the relationships at all? Or yes, uh, I've, 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 I've done something bad through my ineptitude of command. <laughs> I've done something bad, and now I need to do the right thing. Uh, and uh, I have a romantic relationship. Uh, of sorts with somebody at this table. Uh, so uh, that's that's me. I, oh, and by the way, I'm Mark Finn. I'm a frogman and an astronaut in real life. Uh, I'm just, I just slum it here at a good time for the weekend. Uh, 
I'm uh, A.B. Martinez in real life, or am I? Um, <laughs> and I play Jake Longhorn, <laughs> who's, uh, um, he's got, my relationship with uh, Mark is his ineptitude, has something to do with me. And I want to get rich because I stole something. I'm trying to sell something, a holy trinket. And there we go. I didn't, I didn't steal it, maybe. I don't know why I decided that. Okay, uh, I'm Martha. <laughs> and I have uh, an odd relationship with this guy over here. Jake. With Jake. It feels almost like we were maybe enemies in the past life. <laughs> Not sure yet. <laughs> but I got a big fucking tank. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's yeah. yeah, you do. And they say the meaning of life is 42. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't. It's a big fucking tank. <laughs> so, my character, uh, I'm Lynn Stoll, Battle Lake Minis. My character's name is Insanity Last Cannon. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I said it. Yeah! <laughs> Booyah! What? Okay, so I got a war going on with uh, my girl over here behind enemy lines in her, uh, behind enemy, enemy lines, I guess, with her in, in their uniforms, right? Is that how it went down? Yes. Yeah. Together. Can't even yeah. see yeah. me coming. Yeah, together behind enemy not lines. Yeah. All dressed up like filthy Nazis. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we haven't showered for days. That's my job over. We're totally filthy. Oh, this is the uniforms are sharp things. And, and uh, you know, crack. I'm gonna call him Sergeant Crack. It just sounds. It just rolls off the tongue better. <laughs> Supposedly, Miss Linsanity Last Cannon had a fling with. Sergeant Crackhead. What? <laughs> long ago. Long, long ago. Like oh, one, one, one of those, one of those, right. could you even count it? There you go. I have a good count. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that we've already established that Crack is completely incompetent. So. It was tongue and cats on a few of young. So that right. means I don't have to count it. All right, so. So catch, catch. <laughs> In unison, people. Sing it, do For it, the purposes it. of uh, getting the, the party started, uh, I will go ahead and start uh, the uh, the shenanigans, and so it's the, we, can, it been? we can either establish uh, the scene or we can resolve the scene. In this case, uh, I'm going to establish the scene, uh, and, and I'm going to play it between uh, me and Alex, and we're going to, and then these two will get to decide if this is a positive outcome or a negative outcome for me. Okay, so that's how that. Is going to work, and, and they're going to give me a die to hold on to. Uh, if uh, it's a positive uh, outcome, I get a white die. If it's a negative outcome, I get a black die. Uh, that's right. And so um, uh, you'll you'll kind of get the idea where we're going with this. Uh, Hopefully, before we do. Yes. Well, I think this is this is so this is how we're going to, we're going to start. Where we are uh, we're at the Manitoba border uh, base camp. Uh, has been established. We're part of the 23rd Special Projects Division, which is camouflage, infiltration, and very spy shit. <laughs> and uh, I've just received uh, our latest missive. Uh, it's a long run. I've got a report. I, uh, I'm afraid that the last uh, mission I sent everybody out on has met with a bit of an obstacle. It seems that most of them are dead. Not Bobby from Brooklyn. Bobby from Brooklyn. Also, oh. also Steve from Winnipeg. Oh. Hey, yo. And uh, I'm sorry to say, there's only two people left alive, and according to this missive, which appears to be badly encoded, they are currently hiding out in stolen Nazi uniforms. Oh, this is not good. They're requesting our assistance. Ensign, I've got a cunning plan. <laughs> We're going to need... They've got a cunning plan to get our boys killed? Well, maybe. <laughs> it's not going to be that cunning. It's going to be a better plan. You see, I, I, I was wrong to use all those ball bearings. What we really need now, if, if we just... I got a tube of axle grease, three bison, and uh, let's see. Uh, uh, perhaps a frog may not fit. No, no, I forgot. We're in the snow. Oh, I've got galoshes. We need galoshes. Are you with me? We 
we've got to go get them. Anytime you want, you can start handing guys something. <laughs> oh, can we do that now? Okay. It's perfect. Absolutely, start pounding them. Come with me. I need your help. I can't do it alone. Listen. No, no, just go on. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm not You just hang on to that. Since I joined this company, I've watched 50 men die of your plans. <laughs> Why'd you send J Johnson in that frog suit to fight those 50 no Nazi bastards? I, I don't know. I thought it would scare them. I, I'm no good. That's why I need you. I need you to come I can't, I can't write another letter to a man, to a man's wife that said he died because the Nazis aren't afraid of clowns like you thought they were. <laughs> you, you've got to be my moral compass. Look, look, we've got a problem here, okay? Uh, Long Cannon's out there, and as you know, she and I have a special relationship. I've got to bring her back! How else are we going to get married and repopulate the Earth when we defeat the Nazi menace? You son of a bitch, you know I was a romantic. Except <laughs> Susie died. Sorry, I am? Damn you. Alright, that works. He's going with me. Okay. Alright, now the next scene... That's okay, nobody else does it. Why can't it be permanent? The next, for this next scene, I think it's going to be you two. I'm going to gently suggest that this be done in flashback. Because you two are behind enemy lines and we're not. Right. So if this happened before the mission, then you guys can establish your relationship in that capacity. What do you think? Sure. Okay. All right. So, 72 hours, so me and her are then. Yes. Okay. So 72 hours before. All right. <laughs> Yeah, just change the results. At the end, 
we're going to roll the dice and, and you just subtract from the. And if you have a more more total black dice than white dice, then you just get bad at it. So apparently, Mark doesn't want to be happy. That's not true. I want you to be very happy, just not right now. <laughs> gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. So all right. So, so, you establish that. so you storm out angry, uh, mad because you uh, you need money. That's right. She's not going to be able to help you. Right. Yeah, you two. Oh, I didn't realize he was the official. You two. <laughs> <laughs> the, the next scene is with you two, and, and, and this can either be a flashback or it can be you guys behind enemy lines, which is probably going to be important. Uh, so. So what we're plotting is a crime, right? Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you're 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 wearing Nazi uniforms in Canada. You know, I mean, however you guys need whatever you need to do to survive is what is what needs to happen. And feel free to bring up some old shit while you're at there. This this uniform is not my signature color, but it does make my tits look gray. So <laughs> 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 well, so she went with the SS and go on. Let me fucking care about your boobs. Come on, we gotta focus. We're on the Back where they belong, and 
and all the women and the and the Negroes that were temporarily useful are back together. <laughs> I think that we should all come together and, and be one one united couple. <laughs> I I can't stop thinking about it, that night. That thing we had once long ago. That was very, very, very painfully short lived. So, do me a favor, kid, huh? He chucks her on my chin. Mm -hmm. Try not to get killed, yeah, killed huh? Oh, that's bad. There you go. Unfortunately, <laughs> that puts you as a mark on the target right there. I've seen enough dramas. I've seen enough to know that one. All right. Um, so, we've made the round, right? Round one. Now we roll the dice and do the tilt, yes? Or do we need to do a second round? I think we we'll oh, just oh, do you keep going. No, we, yeah, we, we still do. have dice to be away. Well, okay, we keep going. All right, we do. All right. So. Oh, half the and dice are gone. Yeah, it's yeah, half the dice. Until half the dice are gone. Okay. Okay. So it's two rounds. Two rounds. And then two rounds. Because okay. everyone gets four dice. So gotcha. two rounds and okay. then we're tilting. And two more. <laughs> All right, so Whee! this is. Oh, wait, half the dice are gone. Yep. Um, we've given. Oh, yeah, we go again. Okay, okay. Do we give all the way all our dice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. It is. 12, all right. 12 hours later. 12 hours later. You want to set this one? We are. We're, we're deep in the enemy lines looking for the tank crew. Okay. Yes. That we screwed up on. Well, well, you screwed up on. It's my fault entirely. All right. It's, 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 it's a blizzard. As God is my witness, I thought Moose had wings. <laughs> You didn't know that sergeant said yeah. us too. Uh, everything's gone to hell. Okay. Yes. We're lost. We're lost. Uh, uh, we 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 get we keep we haven't seen a soul. No, we, yeah. We haven't seen a soul <laughs> in like you? in like twelve hours. Practically snow. Yes. <laughs> and we're freezing our ass off. We're about to we're almost at frostbite level. All and right. we have no clue how to get anywhere. Alright. I like this. Alright. <laughs> and in the distance. In the distance. Yes. We see people, but we don't know who they are or what they want. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <sighs> Lieutenant, I, I think it's time to tell you I'm dreadfully sorry about all the things that I've done and all the things that I've said, some of the things that I've wore. <laughs> <laughs> as, as the feeling slowly bleeds out of my tired and physically perfect body, I... Can't help but think, if only I'd done a few things differently. Yeah, think. <laughs> I'd, I'd ask to see the binoculars, but I'm pretty sure they're frozen to your face. <laughs> and they're so tiny. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, God, they're bright light. No, it's just more snow. Damn it, man. Why? Why didn't I bring the goggles? Because you're the worst spies ever. I'd I told you we should have brought a compass instead of an extra case of beer. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. We could have bought on our way to freedom. <laughs> I mean, a compass is even this size. There's enough room in the beer case. Lieutenant, Lieutenant, look. In the distance, I, I see a fire. Hey, that could be people. Unless, unless I'm starting to hallucinate. What do you think? I think it's, it's, it's probably a nazi. But, well, you know, when I'm at that stage, I'd rather trust a Nazi. Oh, oh <laughs> that's just... I walk away without saying a thing oh, into the... But, Lieutenant, <laughs> we, we haven't exchanged! Oh, <laughs> Alright, I'm following the Lieutenant now. I've just been given a black eye. This will not uh, bode well for us. Okay. Alright. Uh, and scene. Alright, you guys are back to this. You really are. <laughs> this is the trade group. I mean, yes, I would say I would say work that into your flashback. All right, we're gonna, are we doing another flashback? Yeah. Flashback, flashback. Well, uh, All right, this is. Or, or you could be, or you could walk right. Wait, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, I got it. So this is slightly. You're about to go on your mission. Okay. All right, you're about to go on your mission. This is a flashback. You're about to go on your mission. And uh, I come. And you expect me to? Yeah. Alright, and so, alright, so, I, I hear, I, like, I hear, I hear, I hear you're going to be driving around randomly, Canada, but hopefully, alright, and I'll be like, alright, so, see, you're getting ready, without me, alright, so I show up, and I, I show up, and I pull out the 
Sacred Cross that I got to. I'm like, look, Martha, I know we have our feelings, and I ain't forgiving you, but here's a chance to make up for what you did to me. There's a guy behind enemy lines who's willing to give me $50,000 for this. You want me. All you gotta do is take this and 50-50 and split. All you gotta do is drive the freaking tank, drop it off there. Genius. I love driving tanks. But to help you out? Why would I want to help you out? All right. That's in it for me. I don't like it either. I hate your guts more than I hate every nasty bastard out there. <laughs> well, I'll tell I you what. You give me the money, you give me that tape fair and square. Hey, what do you think? And yes. I will help you get your stupid trinket. Oh. And I keep the, the, the uh, tank. I don't care what you do with the tank. It's not my tank. Oh, is it just a tank? It's just a tank. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that too. Hey, twenty-five thousand dollars you made buy a tank. I don't care what you do with your money. But I gotta trust you. Trust you. Don't let me down. Don't screw me like you did in the academy. <laughs>
All right, well, what if I agree to work on a few things? You know, uh, I hear there are these uh, things called cables. I can try some. <laughs> I understand they're very popular with some people. I, I can give it a shot, you know? I, it, it doesn't have to be so fast, you know? Uh, and, and besides, oh yes, I can think of baseball or, or nuns or dead cats, you know, to keep the romance going. What I'm saying is, is I'm willing to change for you. Why? I would even be willing to give up my nickname of crap. Of course, the kids always used to call me pal in the uh, schoolyard. When I got to college, they changed it to crap. But I could go back to pal. You know what I'm saying, baby? We don't have to play by their rules. We could be different. <laughs> Toss me the black dye. Yeah. Alright, so then black dye. Here we go. Unless you got one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel with a fat checkbook, this ain't happening. <laughs> oh, the humanity! <laughs> She's handed me to death. I'm a ruined man. I'm scorched and deserted. Oh, death, where is thy stinger? <laughs> Nazis. Alright. Alright, we now have. So should everybody have four dice? No, I think it's it's it's, 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 it's uneven, yeah. Okay. It's it will be uneven. Well, I don't I still have this, this stick around in front of me, doesn't matter. No, nope, I think I but uh, I think we're good. We've gone through two rounds each. Okay. So uh alright, we need some administration help here. Now that we've uh figured out all of this, we're all gonna roll dice. Roll the dice you were given. Yes. 50-50. You gotta roll them in the hand, you wanna roll them in the box when you allow it you want to roll the Ooh, box? I made it in that cool box. Yeah, I'm not really worried. Look, it's got the shield emblem. That's not the box. <laughs> I, uh. But it has the shield emblem. Alright. Don't so, kill it, Hydra. It says Hail Hydra. Alright, administrator. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, so I'm rolling the dice, and what's happening here? Well, what we're going to do, you're going to roll the dice, and then we're going to subtract the positive from the negative. Uh, subtract the black dice from the white dice. Uh, yeah. Subtract so the top from the bottom. That's good. Go and right here and basically, if your if your black is high in it's a negative ending, if it's yeah, I got a plus one. Plus two. I'm gonna get something. Well, something good's gonna happen. But you get back four. I got a negative seven. I got a I got a minus three. Ooh. Oh. Okay. oh. That, 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 I don't even know what the hell to call that. That's not even doom romance. That's... <laughs> so now oh, wait, doing? actually, uh, uh, wait a second. We're doing the tilt. We're doing the tilt first, right? Okay, what's the tilt? What the the tilt! Set. Explain the tilt. Yeah. What the tilt is, is uh, you take the dice that are left, right? <coughs> the dice that have not been rolled. Yeah. Okay. Those two. Yeah. And uh, those go into the big communal pile, and they, and they are rolled to generate a tilt, right? After you roll your separate dice. Okay, all right. So they did that. We did that. All right, so I've got it. Yeah, so um, who gets to choose the tilt? Well, there's two things that happen. The tilt table's on page 56. Well, you guys are going to grab a category. Who has the highest black and who has the highest white? Which I think I had the highest black. Minus seven. Yeah, you're right. Minus seven. Well, no, you, you got yeah, ten. Yeah, Mark, you got ten. I got to marry him? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. What did you roll? No. roll? Mark, you rolled. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a ten black. Yeah. Roll a ten black? We're not subtracting, are we, yet? No. Well, yeah. you subtract the higher from the lower, then... But you just look at the die total, you look, what you're saying. You no, whoever rolled the highest total die, black no. dice. Well, right. yes. Total okay. black dice, total white dice, highest total each. Okay, I've got, I've got, I'm black ten. Okay, who's the highest white? I got a five. I got four. What else? Alright, alright. Alright, so. Okay, the two of you are going to help add complications. Yes. As if things couldn't already be. I know, right? Enough. Yeah, I was just thinking of that. Roll eight dice. 
and dice. they have the ones from the central pile that haven't been allocated yet. So keep your dice, roll the other eight dice. All right. I'll tell you what happened. Grab all, grab them all together. Larry, they all have a five of them. Wait, I roll my five. It doesn't matter. Somebody, it doesn't matter. We don't have to, it's magic. It's not like the magic. It's magic. <laughs> all right, eight dice. Yeah. All right. Okay, remember what you did in the setup? We're going around and picking uh, various stuff based on the dice? Yep. Yeah. That's how you're going to do the tilt. You have some options here. Okay. Mayhem, tragedy, innocence, guilt, paranoia, and failure. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I, so, should, I think we should just do a random. Let's do a random. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. This one. Four. So each high scoring That's player guilt. needs to pick. A random and a specific element. Okay, so so I get to pick. I'm going to pick uh, two for tragedy, and then give me a die. Give me that. Yep, hand me one. Boom. It was a six. It was a six. Death after an unpleasant struggle. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have to work that in. All right, and then get a one and six done. One and six. Mayhem. Misdirected passion. Did anybody write this? Yes. Yes, they should have their own index cards. Or, so, you know, okay, so when you're reading these out, is that for a specific character or is that for all of us as a group? That's for the whole story. Mayhem. Misdirected passion. Misdirected passion. Okay. And then death <laughs> after an unpleasant struggle. Okay, so what was the death? Mm -hmm. after. after an unpleasant struggle. Okay. And then the eight dice go back in that central pile for Act Two. All right. And here is where you discuss where the story has gone and yes. where you want it to go. All right. So it's very simple. Right now we are uh, we're all behind the enemy lines. Uh, you got your foot in a tank. Yes. Uh, we uh, at this point the lieutenant uh, has usurped uh, the sergeant. And the sergeant is now following the lieutenant towards a light in the distance, which may or may not be uh, good or bad. Uh, we have no idea where anybody is, including the people in the tank we're supposed to be rescuing, who are driving around in Nazi uniforms, and who may or may not have made that connection uh, to uh, get the uh, uh, $50,000 for the trinket. We can, if you need to, role play that scene out, uh, uh, that meeting at some point, if, 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 we, if need be. Uh, if you decide you want to role play that and just have that happen, we can, you know, that's up to you. Uh, but we have to work misdirected passion and death after an unpleasant struggle into this storyline, all right? And so, do we start on the, on the opposite end and go this way now? I think we do. I think we start. Work it out however you like. Uh, I think we start at that end of the table and go this way. So um, you two uh, will will start this next scene, and then we'll. We have eight dice. So we will start with more dice. Or what's the dice? Yeah, we uh, at, at this point we've got eight dice left that we uh, that we can that we can step hand hand out for scenes. And so it's, it's black and white. Does everyone get the dice? Okay. Uh, or where do they go? The, the pile of eight dice that, that got rolled, yeah. uh, those are the dice that we can hand out as uh, Camille dice. We decide what the action is. So just everybody? Yeah. Okay. So those dice are, are going to are come to people. Well, what about the dice that I, I just rolled? What about the dice? There's five, the, the one that I got plus one. Oh, you keep those. Okay. okay. I'll just keep, I'll just keep those. Yeah. So we show oh, okay. we gotcha. eight in the middle, and then we give away these the, ne the next eight. Right. Okay. Okay. Wait, this is the dice that was supposed to be left over? Yeah, we don't have extra. We need extra dice. We have more dice. That there should uh, be more because the, it was it was more white dice than mm -hmm. black dice. Yeah. So this is wrong. Boom. That's the best thing. All right, good deal. So except uh, that they don't have their dice anymore. That's what they're Whatever, fine. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. We'll roll with it because this, this is no. Okay. I'll go with it. I'll go with it. What? That guy's firing us down. <laughs> what does he want? I don't know. No, it might be that guy. That might be that guy. I gotta talk to him real quick. 
give a, lot, a little bit of my share. Okay. But I'd like to use the tank to take it all back. Oh, I've done it. I'll help you do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
related to the electrical. I could accidentally look them over and put them up in the head. That would be a really awesome fucking idea. Okay. <laughs> squeeze all that arsenic around. Right <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. There you go. Well, that's going to work. So, uh, does that mean you're talking about stupid? <laughs> I heard hate sex can be really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Liberated fucking army. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when Canada falls, so does the world come in. They don't be pickled. Alright, so you guys are in it together. Um, Alright. Photo. Last. This, this is, is our last, this is the last scene with the two of you, and you guys better, you know. All right. Something's got to happen here. Does, did she even give you money yet? Oh, yeah. I think it's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All, All right, right, so here we go. All right, cut, cut. We're uh, sitting there. Remember, I told him it was all the morning, money. so he didn't get yeah, all right. my money. That's so right. we're counting it. We're rich. I think we're rich, Mata. I know. I'm going to grade. Crashes a I understand that. I see. Sort of song. All my life I've been playing this sucker, trying to make it to work. I realize now I was mad at you because you were smart. Oh. I was a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's cause more trouble. <laughs> what else can we do? Doesn't matter. <laughs> World is our oyster, baby. Let's do it. Let's and I told him, I'm like, oh, no. no. <laughs> Just why do you throw it up in yeah, the fucking air? Yeah, the snowstorm. There's poor crack <laughs> no. suffered from those stomach cramps with the arts like watching money fall. Yes. <laughs> and the best part? I got to finally watch Craig die. <laughs> oh, where is he? It's so good being bad. <laughs> is he? Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? They need the black guy. I'm going to give it to you. No, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. Because, oh. because you finally, you, you've, you've admitted at last your hatred for Craig. I've got evil. Yes, you have, you have crossed over. <laughs> uh, uh, as you say, where is Craig? Uh, Crack comes stumbling around the tank, uh, clutching his stomach, and uh, watching the money fall from the sky. Green snow? I'm clearly, oh lord, something's wrong. I, I've got a feeling all that snow we ate earlier is affecting my digestion. Or it could be the poison they gave you. <laughs> you dumb bastard, I didn't drink poison. I just drank coffee that lit. Oh. <laughs> I've been thinking, Crack. I've been thinking. Yeah? I don't think I want the poison to kill you. I think I want to do it myself. What? <laughs> See, I got money now. I do what the hell I want, whatever I want. But, think of the new times we've had together. All the frog suits. I mean... <laughs> and that's for Reese. Do you really want to throw it away just because a few of your friends got killed during the war? See, here's the thing, Crack, I realize I'm a selfish SOB. I don't give a damn about those people. I just give a damn that you're dead. <laughs> is this the where the throttling begins? This is where the throttling is. <laughs> ah! Oh, <laughs> he's squeezing. I, I never got to see the Grand Canyon. <laughs> um, uh, you, this needs to be a white guy for you. He, he <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't stop until I am uh, out on, on the ground. Just <laughs> there you go. Crack's voice dies, <laughs> and the snow begins to cover his head. That's right. I know it's great. Zero shot into the lonely yes. all the snow. There's a black guy. There is one black guy left. Yes. Uh, oh, and you know what? That's for our son. Uh, but it's wild. The color is wild. Do whatever so you want. It can be whatever you want. Okay, so it can be a good or a bad. I see. <laughs> this needs to be bad. She should feel bad for poisoning him. I mean, <laughs> he was a doofus and a duller than a dimwit, but he was a sincere yeah, doofus duller than a dimwit. I, I, I have to With an unusual fetish for frogman suits and acting. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I feel bad. I can still sleep like a baby. And then you remember. The flashback, the, the the long flashback from long ago and far away, that thing that we had. You don't think about the thing because that was not worth mentioning. 
But what, but what you remember is the next day, you wake up, crack, whose real name, by the way, is Daryl. <laughs> Daryl has brought you uh, the New York Times on a tray with coffee and orange juice and a bagel with a schmear, and he set it out on the table. Uh, oh, cream cheese and locks. It's important. Yeah. What? Cream cheese and locks. Locks? I, I look like a Jew to you, though. <laughs> but again, this is the sincerity part, you know? It's, so he still gets it. He's made it. Yeah, he gets it wrong, but it's a tough thing. <laughs> he set it on the tree. It's by the, He's the only nice person in this whole story. Exactly. It's by, the, it's, by the, it's by your bedside with a note. Misspelled, you were the greatest knight in ITE of my life. L-I-F-F. I think I love you. L-U-R-D. <laughs> Daryl quotes Crackaboom. In quotes, Hamlet. That black die used to be a black die. Give me one of those. <laughs> Okay, this is technically a white die, just remember that, because that's a white die. Because I, damn it, I'm so conflicted with you, crazy. I'm always conflicted, because every time I go up, I want to kill you. But I want you to be happy. <laughs> so is that why when he left the hotel room, he went to yours? All right, Trey, uh, yeah, Trey, that's your conflict. All right. Uh, okay, so we, we, we are technically at the end of the game. We have the black die. Give him back his white tie. The black is still black for purposes of the aftermath. Oh, that's right. It's just white for purposes okay. of ending the scenario. Gotcha. So you feel pretty horrible. Yeah. All right. Horrible. So you now he needed hooked on Fox more than anybody else I ever know. <laughs> now we roll the dice. Yes. Yep. Same way I as like still with somebody that should have rolled all, all, all of your dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we roll everything that we've gathered during the course of the game. Wait, wait. So we're just. We just roll those. Okay. You're gonna have to roll by. Yeah. Oh. oh wait, do I count the uh, other one from last time? And and so this is white? No, it stays black for the for, It was white for the conclusion of the scene, All right. but it's black for your aftermath. Okay, so do I do we count the total from the last two? Yeah. No, we're just this is the new total for so what was the other total then? What, never mind. It, was, it, was, it was for it was to determine who got to choose the tilt. Oh okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so six and six is twelve, and uh, five. So I have I have I have twelve black and five white, which is negative. Black. It's that's black seven. It's black seven. All oh, right. Oh, 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 crack. Okay. Well, that's pathetic. Yeah. You died, but you died kind of a sad sack. Maybe they gave you a medal or something. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. You get a medal. All right. Uh, let me work. Let me figure out what this scene is. Uh, and, and go and, and we'll go down the row and, and we'll we'll do our final. This is our final montage of the closing credits. So what's what's your result? Minus two. Okay. Black two. Black two. Black two. Brutal okay. wounds that will never heal. Stuff sawed off, blown off, or burned off on your way to grand ignominious failure. Oh wow! Um, I have the perfect well, idea. I, got that one. I know. I'm thinking it's my ideas too, depending on my results. And what is your result? Plus ten. Plus ten. White ten. Not too shabby. You make it out with some dignity intact. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dignity? <laughs> okay, well. cool. All right. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, there dignity. might even be some profit in it for you. What do you mean? <laughs> Menace has been uh, beaten back, and a coalition of, of uh, French Canadians uh, are all standing around Harry S. Truman, and uh, they're discussing uh, the posthumous Medal of Honor that's being awarded to Sergeant Daryl Crack Hamlin uh, because it was the tank mission that he bravely gave his life in 
Uh, what they didn't realize was that the Nazis' gold stash was in the back of the tank, and it was uh, their reserves were destroyed. Even though they were suffering heavy casualties, the tank making it back across uh, the American lines was was just enough to throw the German uh, uh, advance into disarray, and uh, it is long regarded as the event that uh, swung the tide of the North American invasion in the favor of the Allied forces. Wow. So that's your conclusion? That's my that's beautiful. conclusion. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Me? Yes. All right, here's the thing. Don't hook up with the lady that you hate. <laughs> <laughs> Money don't make it any better. <laughs> I like it. All right. So what happened to poor Jake Lawmore is we went vacation on Paris. And everything was going swimmingly. And then one day I wake up and I'm handcuffed to the bed. And the money's gone. Oh, nice. And uh, uh, by the time I get loose, <clears throat> it's like the scars aren't were physical that I never love again. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm a lonely man. Yeah. I wander the streets of Paris. Okay. Hate, hate loving Martha. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, hate loving money. Yeah. Good. The life I could have had. There you go. But, but and it was supposed to blow up, and there was supposed to be some splatter. It was, it was, it was, it was emotional blowing up. Emotional blowing up. It was mental splatter. Emotional blowing up. He wanted to be rich. <laughs> he wanted to be rich, and he had to be I'm broken. I'm broken. acceptable? I wanted to be rich. Everything you You're so tank oriented in your storytelling. It's like, what are you talking about? You get everything you want. Your tank, you get money in a tank. You're driving around Paris in a tank. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's your what's your what's your final scene there? Uh, is get everything you want. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I have all the bills I need. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing good. I'm going to invest, and I'm going to disappear, and I'm going to change my name, and I'm going to start a different life for myself, and change up the karma that I have. So that I can live a fucking life of dignity. <laughs> <laughs> in a big fucking tank. In my big fucking tank. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I bought the tank. There and I wrapped it with not looking Nazi. Alright. Pandora <laughs> logo on. Yeah, I have no idea. Martha logo. I don't know if I have a logo. Martha. So you, you become tank. Like James Garner. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. She is. Start to file every day. So we're talking about my scene now. Yes, your final, what's your final So what, what was it? My life was rough and I had lingering whatever going on. Profound, lingering, and painful lessons learned. Oh, oh Bony, yeah. Bony, crack, crack on the best. You could have been a man that would have been devoted. That's it. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I guess that means supposedly at some point I got to feel a little guilty that Mr. Hooked on Phonics sat there and... <laughs> Fast as we did, I really expected things. Land speed fiasco. 
It was it was it was a lightning, a lightning round fiasco. That's right. That's right. You put novelists on the panel. This is what happens. Uh, if it was short story writers, this would have been one round. <laughs> it's a literary joke. I, I kid because I can't. Uh, if Peter Jackson had done it, we'd be a, a fourth of the way through it. <laughs> We're not even to the end. That would be the special director's edition. Exactly. Thank you guys for showing up for this. I hope you enjoyed this. Can somebody uh, take a picture of us on there? Oh, I sure. got to show them off that I do stuff productive. That would be oh, fun. yeah. <laughs> it's all about my mommy. And, and would you please take a picture from me so I can put like it on, on, our, on my uh, Facebook feed and tell everybody how cool we are? Yes, I'll tag everybody. Awesome. Totally All right, happy. pretend you like each other. There we go. Love up on the tank. Love the tank. Be the tank. Be the tank. What's the tank's motivation? Okay, maybe don't love the tank that much. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful thing. Mine, you just point, touch the thing that, With, touch, that looks that like a camera? Stuff. Yeah, that's a. Do that part. That's the part you do. How do you operate those phones? You Nobody knows how to do it. You're so high tech. <laughs> I got a camera. Yeah, Froggy Wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many I took. Like, that's a terrible eye, Froggy Wetsuit. Thank you guys so much. Thank the game is available for both public games. It's a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, you need a, a certain uh, uh, disregard for um, common decency. Common decency. I'd like to apologize for all the women and Negroes in the audience. <laughs> That wasn't that was you. Me. That wasn't me. That, that was, was the 40s. That was crack. That was the 40s. Talking. Yeah, so. I was picturing you as Zap Brannigan in the entire time. I'm well, that, it, it, we got there, didn't we? we, we I'm really, okay. I'm it was, a little. It was Zap what? Zap Brannigan uh, from, from Futurama. Future 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 oh, yeah. yeah. That totally. Sexology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. I love Futurama. Future future you know, in fact, there was a scene that we were doing that totally reminded me of Futurama, and I wish I had spoken up, but. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Uh, and now it's time to drink. Yay! Uh, in the bar. Woo! Guys, thanks for playing. That was cool. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, this thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, cool. It, it worked out really good because one of my favorite inspiring characters in the world was Tank Girl. You did all that. Oh, right. Well, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good storytelling right there. What's funny?